check if uh, we have everyone correct. Um, Ms. Yeva and Ms. Brigion. Okay, Anna Pastore. Це пані Анна Пасторе. Simon Vigus. Is it Simon or Simon? Simon, thank you. Mathieu Arden. Culture um, Department in Germany Embassy. Mm -hmm. uh, could I have your name, please? Lucia. Just Lucia. Yeah, your topic and I announce all of you one by one and then you're free to speak. So all of you if you need just make your statement but as far as I'm concerned it's just two of you, right? So you make your statement and then we we'll go to questions and answers. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. We resume our working day, and uh, our current topic is European native languages celebrating together. We have uh, plenty of speakers today. We have uh, uh, His Excellency Mr. Jan Tambinski, Ambassador, Head of the EU Delegation uh, in Ukraine. Uh, Ms. Eva Figel, Director of the Polish Cultural Institute in Kiev, Anna Pastore, Director of the Italian Cultural Institute in Kiev, Mr. Simon Williams, Director of the British Council in Ukraine, um, Ms. Mathieu uh, 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 Arden, Director of the French Institute in Ukraine, and Ms. Suzanne Becker, and uh, uh, Lucy Gregory, director of the Czech Institute in Kiev. Also, Daniel Lissner, who is uh, uh, deputy uh, head of the Special um, uh, National Minorities Department in German uh, um, Embassy in Kiev. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy. Uh, Mm, to be present at this press conference, and I'm happy to give the floor to Mr. Jan Tambeski. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm very pleased uh, to um, be here on the occasion of celebrating the um, European Day of Languages, which uh, uh, underscores the multilanguage principle of the European Union. Our main principle in the EU is uh, the um, unity in diversity and uh, uh, this underlines our principle that uh, we uh, provide people with opportunity to speak their native languages or any language uh, of their choice and uh, uh, at the same time to master other languages. The language is uh, uh, an instrument which requires you to think what you say, not just uh, only uh, how you say this. Uh, um, uh, uh, 
Uh, and today at the forum uh, on the Ukrainian transformation, we discuss much uh, the uh, possibilities of dialogue because uh, the language uh, is an instrument uh, uh, allows you to contact other people and to understand yourself better. Um, during uh, the last uh, 20 uh, years, I ch I've changed six countries uh, where I uh, lived and worked, and uh, uh, the language in each country was a possibility uh, not just to master and to understand uh, the culture of this country, but also to understand people, other people better, and to understand myself better. Mm -hmm. That is, I encourage uh, uh, people uh, to study languages to understand their identity better. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Let and now let me allow. Uh, let me uh, describe what we plan for the um, European Day of Languages. Uh, um, all the institutions involved into this uh, event. Uh, they prepare their own programs. We prepare our own. Um, uh, uh, exhibition sites uh, also oh, we uh, mm, uh, uh, prepare special events for children we offer uh, reviews uh, of uh, uh, cartoons movies then uh, puzzles uh, mm, mm, uh, representing the map of Europe. Also, we organize a dance uh, a festival and festival of national cuisines, and uh, uh, people will be able to taste Europe, so to say. At noon, uh, it will be possible to um, uh, uh, experience the sightseeing tour uh, about sites in Kiev where the Poles lived in 19th century. Also, we will uh, represent the possibility how to um, uh, to go uh, how to go to European universities uh, to study. But here, our objective is not to show um, the opportunities for studies, but uh, also to demonstrate that uh, um, that people can uh, learn during the whole life. Uh, also, you have already heard from our uh, participating colleagues that, uh, uh, that uh, we have many stakeholders. UNIC is an association of uh, uh, the institutes of culture uh, functioning in Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we unite Gotha Institute uh, um, uh, uh, fr the French Institute, uh, uh, Italian Embassy, Italian Cultural Center, Austrian Cultural Center, Polish uh, Cultural Center in Kiev. Uh, I think I remembered all the institutions. And uh, uh, oh, uh, excuse me, please, I forgot to mention the British Council. Mm. Uh, 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 and uh, um, all the participants of this event uh, try, uh, are gradually getting involved into the uh, training courses for civil servants from the ministries. This is going global um, program. And on the 27th of September at 11 a.m., we invite everybody, um, and uh, uh, the event will last by uh, 17 p.m. Um, at, at the end, uh, we will uh, 
I have uh, um, uh, an award ceremony uh, after the competition, a uh, special competition on uh, uh, television. Um, and uh, uh, we will also show the movies. Uh, um, and uh, now I uh, suggest you to ask questions. Please welcome questions or comments. If no, let me make one from the Ukraine Crisis Music Center. Uh, could you provide more information as to whether there will be more festivities outside Kyiv or it will be just in Kyiv and in one place? Uh, this year, like uh, the past year, we are going to organize the event just in Kyiv. At this moment, we have not decided yet upon expanding our initiative to other cities or regions. Uh, one more question. Um, uh, there was um, a mention of the Go Global program. and. Um, in today's uh, world, uh, we do understand that um, the main language of business, and now of diplomacy, unfortunately or fortunately, is English, uh, with all due respect for other languages, of course. Uh, and uh, I'm very curious if you could mention or uh, brief us on, on, on the development of this, uh, developments of this Go Global program, because we do believe that, that your embassy and the British government and American government could, could really do a great deal uh, to help Ukraine improve the, the, the level of English which is being taught at the Ukrainian secondary schools and as well at the university level and many other things. Uh, so where are you uh, on this? Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I, I should start off by saying that it's uh, English is not the only language that Go Global um, is focusing on. And, and with due respect and honor and gratitude to my colleagues, um, all of our languages are important. We recognize that English is, is sort of the international language of trade, not the international language of diplomacy. That's French, um, but is uh, uh, one of the main international languages. We at the British Council and my colleagues are working closely with the Go Global uh, uh, organization and with the Ministry of Education to see how we can improve the level of English that's taught at schools, at universities, the level of English that civil servants use when they're negotiating with international organizations. Um, next year is going to be the year of English. Um, I hope that future years will be the years of other languages. Um, it's all, next year is also the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare. Um, so we're working in a range of areas to both uh, help individuals improve their language, to help teachers improve the English that they teach in schools, to help universities improve the organization and structure of the English language training they give, to help civil servants improve the English that they have for their international work. But I know that all my colleagues are also working in the same areas with their languages as well. So um, yes, English is a large part of Go Global, um, but, it's, but it's not the only one. Um, I will just follow up on, the, on Vasla's question. If you could um, elaborate a bit more, maybe the representatives of other languages and other cultures, um, what are your plans uh, for the Glo global initiative for other languages except for English? What is the area that you will be working on? Will that be schools or, um, I don't know, universities or maybe state institutions? I, th um, I think I can repeat that what Simon's uh, told. Um, we are working uh, really closely with schools here in Ukraine and we will um, extend this work um, to provide um, more um, to, to provide more German learners in schools and also in universities. So we have new programs for universities to um, learn the German language. And we are thinking also um, about um, going in professional um, um, prepara preparation and professional um, uh, at, um, yeah, in the professional, um, Lucy. So um, this is the same what British Council does, I think, and the same what Institut Francais is doing, and the same what everybody who is um, um, sitting here doing. Uh, we just um, organize a little bit more, um, on another uh, with Go Global together. Thank you. Uh, from the 
Czech Center, we also we also would like to concentrate in the future on closer cooperation with uh, schools, with uh, middle schools, to start some foreign exchange students program and also some uh, specialized program in the universities, especially medical schools, technical universities, law schools, so that we would provide the opportunity for students to get in touch with the Czech language because uh, in the Czech Republic, in, in case you learn uh, the language up to a certain level, then uh, all the governmental education uh, is free, is for free. I can only add to here that we from our side have joined the program and we have already suggested to prepare lessons of Polish for staff personnel in the ministries of uh, foreign affairs of Ukraine, uh, of Ukraine professors at Kiev Mahila Academy, and we also address some NGOs uh, willing to learn Polish uh, to make uh, advantage of our neighborhoods relationships. І ще одне запитання у нас здається. Sorry, US questions, but I just thought since you all showed up here and this is a good opportunity we have many people now watching you live here and uh, of course a language day is a great uh, endeavor, a great project and um, I would like to lot you on that. But I have more of a general question about public diplomacy. Apparently you all represent public diplomacy outfits of your countries and uh, the main goal of, of your operation here is of course to promote language, culture, um, traditions of your countries and just familiarize them with the country where you are in Ukraine. However, Ukraine uh, is currently undergoing uh, various reforms and uh, we, are, we, we are working closely, our media center is actually part of this public diplomacy effort, but which has been done by people in the private sector and civil society, but we are helping our government. But my question is more about Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, which also needs to be reformed. And uh, we don't really talk about this much. And of course, maybe it would not be very diplomatical, di diplomatic from your side to be providing comments on that, but maybe you could uh, provide your ideas of how you think Ukraine's Minister of Foreign Affairs could improve its public diplomacy, uh, its international outreach, the work they do in terms of communications, and perhaps there are already programs which are supported by your respective governments uh, to help reform the MFA, uh, Ukraine's MFA, to make it more effective and uh, just uh, to make it work better. And, um, and uh, of course, I would like to welcome uh, uh, Ambassador Tembinski to start, um, uh, so that you all have a little bit of time to think uh, with your answers. And Thank you for the question, but uh, that's really a complex matter to respond to. I am not uh, going to speak as to the ways in which uh, this or that ministry should be reformed. But I do understand that at this moment, on top of everything that has been done for the past one year and a half in Ukraine, I mean, starting from the time of the Maidan, uh, that's all contributed to shaping a very emotional perception of Ukraine and in Ukraine. But we may not play emotions all the time because emotions will inevitably change and subjects will change and you can see from the European environment how the shift in emotions went to say the current matters uh, with uh, migrants um, and I can assure you that there is a huge interest in Ukraine and a positive attitude towards Ukraine uh, the developments, recent developments in Ukraine have been rather positive uh, because it was a common outcry of the people willing to stay that they are citizens, that they will, do not want, no longer want to be subjects of policy. Nevertheless, the question of today is to how successfully develop the project of modern Ukraine. And I think the Ministry of External Affairs, uh, together with other ministries, could and should use all uh, 
the capacities and all innovative technologies to contribute to this. The information market is a very important market and it is not about emotions. It is about a very useful quality and interesting product that will show the capacity of the Ukrainians to move forward, forward and the capacity of the country to go through the process of transformation, becoming a part of solution from being a part of the problem. And it is up to the ministry and the personnel to decide how they will do it. Uh, I would like to add to His Excellency said, uh, uh, our uh, all institutions are involved to all sorts of assistance. We shared our experience and uh, uh, provided information how, how all our institutions function. Um, uh, also, we participated in uh, uh, this program with the uh, Shevchenko University. Also, we shared our experience with the Ministry of Culture. And uh, many times uh, we uh, emphasize that uh, um, we should uh, speak uh, more not about Maidan and its emotions, but to speak more about Ukrainian contemporary culture and uh, uh, contemporary Ukrainian culture would might be interesting to people in many countries. Uh, if there are no further questions, uh, then uh, let's... Uh, uh, wrap up and uh, you can also communicate uh, off records. Um, but you're free to continue uh, communication here in the premises of Ukraine Crisis Media Center off records. Um, thank you. And our next press briefing is Colonel Matuzianik about report from the ATO zone. Thank you. Our next briefing is at 12.30. Thank you.